what do you see in, in this piece where Mary Lou Williams maybe tried things that you hadn't seen before, where really you feel like this is, this is so unique to her? Bringing in these real elements of, of jazz music to uh, the forefront, like in Aries, um, the band or the ensemble, she doesn't shy away from them not getting into these uh, syncopated figures, especially like this boogie-woogie mm -hmm. figure that she has in, uh, in Aries. <laughs> So there's there's like a very uh, I think who has that uh, the strings have this figure but like that's a very yeah. uh, specific uh, approach that the strings have to, they have to play they have to they have to deal with that which I think uh, even someone like Gershwin. You know, he was kind of really teetering this line of you know how to get the musicians to mm -hmm. to play a certain way, and, and and Mary Lou never really shied from that in, in this. But then she'll play like uh, she'll write. Uh, I'm trying to think of another movement. Um, cancer. introspective and she really like uses the richness of the the strings uh, to kind of bring bring that out but what's so important about this piece is Mary Lou really maintains the character of each zodiac movement without making compromises because the ensemble isn't necessarily within the quote unquote quote jazz, uh, traditional jazz ensemble, you know, mm -hmm. it's a orchestral ensemble. And she, I, th I think she does a very good job at balancing sort of the different, different ensembles that are there, the, the small jazz group and then the, the chamber orchestra and getting them to talk to each other and work together and, and make it one um, coalesced sound instead of you know, two separate idioms, yeah. which I think is, even today is always a challenge, right? You know, how to make uh, these things unify, um, these approaches unify, where it's not just, you know, two separate entities, but, yeah. you know, musicians really collaborating in a very meaningful way. 